This is the Gen 2 LAC enclosure drawers and I'm going to show you how to install them. I've included a test print file. It includes all the little mechanical parts of the drawers. It's good to test print that before you do the entire uh, drawer. Um, just see how well things fit together. If you run into any parts not fitting well together, you might have to just check for any flaws or adjust some of your settings in your slicer. To help us install the drawers, we're gonna use a template. There's a little arrow facing the front of the template you want that to face the front of the table. I recommend using a piece of masking tape to hold the template in place. To mark the holes from the template, I prefer using a scratch all, but you can use a marker or a pen for that too. Depending on how much weight you're gonna put on the drawers, you can use more of the holes. You don't have to use them all. I usually just do like the four corners, and that's enough to hold the drawers in place. Then we're going to drill out the holes from the template. Just make sure that you use a drill bit that's a smaller diameter than your screw. Now we can prep the rail. We're installing a double rail. It supports either two single drawers or one double drawer. The rails have different mounting points for locking different types of drawers in place. The tool we're going to use here are M3 screws. Those are wood screws. Ah, there we go. M3 screws. Now with your M3 nut and M3 screw, we're going to thread them together just a little bit. And we're going to push that into the hexagonal hole in the rail. And then we're going to flip it over and thread the screw in. And we're going to use a screwdriver to tighten that all the way in and it's going to pull that nut in the right spot. Now we'll install the rail. If your drill has torque settings, I recommend putting it on a lower settings so you don't strip anything out or break anything. It does happen. Make sure the screws go all the way in or the head of the screw might obstruct the rail. Now we'll prep the drawer case. You'll notice these slots on the bottom. Those are actually for the drawer stoppers. They're optional, but I'll show you how to install them on this drawer case. Each tab is going to be marked left or right for placement. Position them like so in the case and press them to snap them in. To magnetically close the drawers, you can add magnets into these two magnet slots on the back. You can use either a 10 by 5 by 2 or a 10 by 2 refrigerator magnet. You don't have to put them all in, but the more you add, the more magnetism you'll get. On the drawers themselves, you'll find the same slots. You'll want to put a magnet in that same one you did on the case. Just make sure your polarity is correct or it'll push the drawer out rather than pull it into place. If the polarity is backwards, you can always push magnets back out through the holes in the bottom of the case, or using a magnet to pull the magnet out. And last, we'll add the M3 nuts. These act as rail locks, so they're optional as well. They install just like the nuts we put into the rails, so we're gonna use another screw to help put them in place and then flip the case over and use another screw to pull the nut into place. The drawer case is now ready to install. Align the rails and slide the case in place. Slide the rail lock up the back side of the drawer case. Lock it in place using an M3 screw. If you're adding a lower drawer case, you're going to want to use an upper rail lock. You'll slide that up the back of the top case, then slide your lower drawer into place, 
and slide a rail lock up the back of that lower case. Then just use an M3 screw and lock it in place like you did on the previous drawer. Now you can insert the drawers. Just make sure you lean them back a little bit to get past the tabs and you can slide them into place. If you want to download the Gen 2 drawers, visit my account at printables.com. I'll also include a link that you can go directly to the model with. If you're interested in the Gen 2 system and have any ideas or suggestions, feel free to reach out to me at printables.com or in the comments section below.